Okay, so already we discussed in a Windows 10. Uh, guys, can you able to hear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. in a Windows 10, already we discussed about um, uh, minimum requirements to install a Windows 10. Okay, so in Windows 10, we already seen minimum requirements to install a Windows 10. So anybody will tell what is the minimum requirements to install Windows 10. How much CPU is required? Processor? Uh, 1 gigahertz. Very good. Minimum 1 gigahertz or faster. Next. RAM? 4 GB for 32 bit and 8 GB for 64 bit. 1 GB for 32 bit processor. And 2 GB for 64 bit. Very good. Hard disk? Minimum? 16 GB. Sir? Thirty bit, two bit OS. Thirty two GB. For sixty. Showing now thirty two GB. Earlier it is showing twenty GB only. Okay. Okay. So if you forget in case, or uh, you are unable to say very big lengthy kind of stuff, I want to say very simple guys. Any operating system, basically, uh, any basic operating system, regular operating system, not specific operating system, any regular operating system, one gigahertz processor or more. One means usually we are getting 1.5 like that. One gigahertz or 1.4 gigahertz processor. OK, and next uh, 64 bit. No, no, no. Forget about 32 bit 64. 2 GB RAM, 32 GB disk space. Any any operating system, Linux, Windows, uh, like that. Any operating system, minimum requirements is so one gigahertz or 1.4 gigahertz 2 gb ram 32 gb hard disk space is required and display supporting display minimum is 800 into 600 okay you know windows 8 it is 1200 into so uh, 1024 into 768 sorry 1024 into 768 what is this display it's a pixel one Okay, so row uh, height and width of the uh, screen. So this is the minimum requirements which we already discussed. Now, I will tell there is a certain Windows 10 features. Guys, Windows features, Windows 10 features, little bit different, but Windows 10 features uh, I, I, I want to tell. Okay, so here it is Windows 10 features is like a Cortana. First one is Cortana. Guys, Cortana is, I'm explaining now only each and every future. I'm explaining directly now only, okay? This is the Cortana. Okay, Cortana already explained. Cortana is a voice assistant. Like a, you can um, give a command. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so it is a voice activated personal assistant type like you Google, Google Talk, Google Assistance. Okay, Google Assistance, Siri. Is it like that? Same thing. Go for a Cortana. Okay, so you can do a certain task or you want to open some application, you want to shut down your PC, use your Cortana. Is a one thing. So Cortana is introduced in Windows 10 only. Okay, tablet mode. This is some people call, uh, in, a, in a test will be called it's a quantanium quantanium so before going to that one so i will tell microsoft edge microsoft edge is a default web browser
default web browser. Microsoft Edge is a default web browser. In a Windows 10. What is Microsoft Edge? Default web browser in a Windows 10. We have a Microsoft. Uh, no, no. Internet Explorer is also there. Internet Explorer is there, but um, now Internet Explorer is there, but not much as useful because uh, mm -hmm. Edge has uh, all kind of um, plugins kind of stuff working in a Edge only, not working in a Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay. There are certain features are there in Edge Extra as compared to another one. So compulsory go to the Microsoft Edge like this. Okay. Next. Uh, yeah, someone is putting. Uh, it is a Walter version or another browser. Okay, Internet Explorer is also there internally. We have Internet Explorer is also there. Uh, they are not start developing after IE 11. IE 11. Um, is a very old one still it is not the uh, Microsoft not don't want to develop this IE 11 like IV 12 IV 13 IE 14 It's not developing it is stop developing this one even though it is uh, uh, Microsoft not developing uh, extensions for a uh, uh, Internet Explorer so completely they concentrate on Microsoft Edge only okay this is the Edge browser okay so like that the new plugins software support is go with the Microsoft Edge. So first one is Cortana Microsoft Edge. Uh, taskbar like a task menu style is different. So like you can get a task searching like this and as well as you can put a shortcuts on this tiles manner also. OK. Start menu. This is called a start menu, taskbar, task menu, like that it is. You can find it. Guys, if you look at here, this is the Microsoft Edge. This is my uh, Visual Studio. For example, I I have to open certain application every time. For example, WhatsApp is very important for me, or uh, Microsoft Teams are very important for me. Yeah, anyway, it is there here, but see, Microsoft Teams is always I require to open. So what I do right click on it. Pin to start OK, pin to start. Uh, you can do like this. So what happened? It came in here. Can you able to see guys? My uh, Microsoft Teams. OK, now what I'm doing is I want to put it. Here like drag and drop like this. I feel like it is a very small one, so I want to increase the size, resize. Uh, you can make it as a small. And I'm opening it, so sorry. OK, you want to make it as a medium. More. Pin to taskbar, it means you can put it in your this taskbar. Run as administrator, open. File location, uninstallation, shorts, settings, sign out, quit, this kind of stuff we are getting. So I'm doing. You don't want here. You don't want. You want to remove it from here. You want to remove it from here. So then click it. Unpin from start. Unpin from start. Like this. Not only these sizes, mega sizes also you can able to put it. Uh, like a wide sizes, large sizes also possible. Okay. So this is about your task menu. Next, guys, you can search based on the naming like this. OK, so I want to search for a photos like this. P, putty, like this. OK, or maybe like this. Or maybe like this, see? So how I searching for my application based on the the starting letter. So this is start and this is my user. OK, documents, picture settings. It is showing like see short menu is like a power, power off, shutdown. You know that one already. This is settings. OK, 
this is how your start menu is there cortana microsoft edge next one is task view virtual desktop why i put both the things because both are uh, mixed one so what is task view this is my task view if you see there is a windows button start button and search button cortana then this is a task view task view when you are clicking a task view you can see a what are the tasks you done are currently going on now this is currently going on and this is previously closed applications you can see like this very danger right so like this so this is so based on the timeline also you can see what are the tasks you have done okay this is a today's one okay like currently current running task and yesterday what task you ran day before yesterday what task you are ran like that you can able to view it from here okay so guys next so one is virtual desk yeah tell me tell so me once again task you task you in generally uh, we have a task like this right so alt tab you can go to which task like a ta what are the application currently open you can open from here right it is in you know, your background uh, what are the things you are open you can view from here like this okay this is okay. the alt tab alt tab to get it okay alt tab to get it right but what i'm doing saying is task view you can see the bottom of the screen this one bottom in task bar you can see task view if you click on a task view not only a current uh, today's what are the task i open also it will show yesterday's day before yesterday's like that earlier today earlier today okay yesterday 25th 24th so what are the things i open okay like that it's showing those kind of stuff task view okay not only current task also earlier task what i done also we can able to see next guys if you look at this is a desktop one and desktop two if you can able to see or not i don't know can you able to see this my screen yeah yes sir visible sir visible right so one or two yes, three sir. so many tabs are open directly right this is the desktop 2 desktop 1 desktop 2 desktop 2 if i open like this i don't know whether you can able to view or not my desktop okay the task whatever i am running currently i am unable to view it why because of it will create another virtual desktop it's a different uh, task we can able to run it physically if, if if i have a monitor then definitely i can able to show you that one okay because it's my physical machine so either i have to run from the my virtual machine or uh, anything okay <clears throat> virtual desktops are very simply say in one desktop my current desktop <coughs> in my current desktop i open my google browser whatsapp okay google uh, microsoft meet some notepad my uh, this one for example i want to watch a movie okay so what i will do i will watch the movie things in a desktop too or I, i want to do some other tasks like i am doing some programming i don't want to put in my current desktop i do programming thing in another desktop okay it is not a virtual machine guys it is simply same machine but different desktop environment virtual desktop means very simply say it's the same physical machine different desk um task running in a different desktops task running in a different desktops that's it the view is different so that's the only thing view is different but everything is running in your system only everything is running in your system only okay it is not a virtual machine it is a very simple your machine only okay uh, the view 
you are running certain task here these tasks are running in my current desktop okay if i go to another desktop i am running different uh, task okay this one next one next one is tablet mode tablet mode is you, you can go to like this uh, this is the notification area in your task bar you can go to the last of that one let's so say last one okay next to the date so you can click on this notification area you will get some settings direct option settings you will get let's see the first one is tablet mode first one is your tablet mode what is this tablet mode it converts your regular windows task screen like your screen into tablet mode screen means if you are using a microsoft tablet kind of stuff um the tablet uh, icons are different right you use a finger to select which application you want to open kind of stuff same thing will happen here i am trying to convert my desktop into tablet mode just click like like this tablet mode now i am in a tablet mode now i am in a tablet mode okay see here it is maybe i don't know you can able to see my screen or not so this is my start start menu yeah this is okay okay um current running task also i am unable to see like a, what it is happening here all ten apps the running apps see which app i want to do it like a, if i have a touch screen i can go and select like i want a paint brush so select a paint brush you will get it like this okay still i don't know whether you are able to see uh, my tablet mode screen i am changing back to normal screen okay so this is my normal screen okay see i have opened my uh, paint brush in the tablet mode so tablet mode is means normal operating system desktop uh, kind of operating system is convert into tablet mode of a operating system like how you operate a tablet mode it is very useful for a two in one laptops okay two in one laptops touch screen laptops very useful okay so that is tablet mode hmm anything here now new versions we are getting meet now meet now is very simple microsoft teams or a skype future meet now is a new version in a new windows version only meet now is there this is meet now meet now to join the meeting or a to create a meeting with a skype uh, kind of stuff okay uh, windows ink and workspace so what is this workspace kind of stuff windows ink future what is this ink future so we can take a screenshot of your screen and you can write and you can share the screenshots also or you can uh, take a screenshot of a particular part of the screen also you can take the particular part and you can share that one also this is the ink future so just click it it ask two things you want a whiteboard or a full screen snip whiteboard means you will get a, a simple whiteboard kind of stuff and you can draw uh, on this one using your mouse or a pen or a like that okay so new app coming it is further developed into a different ways Just trying to sign in i don't want i don't want yeah microsoft sign in is required I forget my password also. Yeah, I'm la I'm logging with my personal account, not with my office account. If I log in with my office account, so office um, that is again linked into my personal OS. Okay, got it. So this is my account only. So I want to write something on the screen like this. 
okay uh, if you write a uh, abcd kind of stuff even though it is try to recover it okay it thinks c is zero c exactly c oh okay auto correction okay so you can even you will get a eraser to erase it like this okay so this is empty screen you can draw when you have Sir? a free time yeah uh what is the difference between os and uh, linux or windows and linux os means operating system that's it uh a windows and linux difference windows and linux windows is gui mod uh, gui based operating system linux is cli based operating system okay we are in a windows uh, discussion right so ask me once we are stop discussing about features or anything ask me again if i forget to tell okay of course there is a question called windows and linux differences important question what is the difference between windows and linux that's a very important question but we are in a some different mode no? so others will get disturbed okay definitely i will tell sir in linux also we will use uh, gui mode in linux also gui mode we can use it Oh. Linux GUI based operating system is there. Yeah. Okay. Definitely because of you know GUI in Linux is like you know Linux operating system Windows operating system guys one point I want to tell both are different. Linux basically we use Linux operating system for server purposes. Okay. Next command line interface in the linux is much powerful than a gui mod command line is more powerful okay of the maximum task means 100% task we can able to do in a linux is with a cli only okay with gui we can do only limited task limited things only we can able to do with a gui mod okay so in a linux in a linux in windows we can do maximum task maximum means like a 90 95 96 percentage like a 99% maximum 99% we do in windows with a gui operations only okay with a graphical user interface only we do all the task all the works okay only 1% is command line even if it is required in 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 a, in a place okay only some ten things required for 1% or 2% or 3% percent, like you can do it okay so few things we can able to do with a cli in a windows operating system next one is linux is basically linux is a server guys linux is a server to give us services linux is a lightweight operating system linux is a lightweight means uh you don't required a uh, heavy hardware like a powerful cp very powerful cpus very powerful uh, um, ram kind of stuff or um, storage spaces you don't required because li linux is a very less occupied in the hard disk space uh, not much uh, ram requirement like that it is a very lightweight and it is faster it will work compared to windows that is a main advantage of linux and linux is basically a server purpose and uh, linux is a open source linux is a open source you don't need to take any license from anybody you can modify linux as per your requirement you can modify a linux as per your requirement okay but in windows is not like that windows is two windows are there one is like a desktop windows another is a server windows windows desktop windows server both are separate windows desktop for anybody use like a <coughs> lot of <coughs> some people ask me a question that is sir linux is very secured one and uh, windows is not at all secure why we are using windows then question is yes why we are using a windows a linux is secured one then better to go for linux right why just we are using windows why you are putting extra money to buy a laptop with windows <clears throat> thing is 
Windows is also secured one. Windows is a secured one. And Windows is user friendly. Windows is user friendly. Any person with a basic knowledge of computer can able to operate. It may be for a first one or two days, maybe a doubt, but you will uh, you can able to use your Windows operating system very easily. OK, so Windows desktops. OK, Windows servers again. That's a separate first Windows servers are for server purpose only. Windows desktops for a desktop purpose only. OK, for running an application to install application to watch a movie to do to listening a songs. OK, so Windows is is a multi purpose user desktop environment is there. So that is the main power of Windows operating system. OK, Linux, very few Linux operating systems for a desktop purpose like Ubuntu desktop. Ubuntu desktop. OK, compulsory you have to check Windows Ubuntu desktop or a server. OK, Ubuntu desktop. Linux Mint, Linux Mint, that kind of few desktop editions of Linux is there. That is for desktop purpose. Like you don't want to invest money on a um, Microsoft Windows, so you can freely get a Ubuntu, very easy, right? Microsoft proprietary Windows is a Microsoft proprietary. You cannot alter the Microsoft operating system. Means. You can't change the shell and kernel. Source code of a Windows operating system. You should not change it. Like you cannot change it anyway, and you should not change it also. OK, in Linux you can develop your own operating system. So that's a basically. Few differences, but. Why at all? Because people have a little bit misconceptions about the operating system guys every operating system has their own purposes differences means only for understanding a differences purpose it's not really a differences okay windows is general purpose any person can use a windows operating system people who are not even a basic techie also like they don't want at all a problem then go for a mac okay Windows for Indians. Basically. OK, uh, so just what are it is. OK, guys, this is a Windows Inc. Uh, I forget to show, uh, no, no, I didn't forget. I skipped that one. So this is full screen snipping, full screen snipping. So what I will do, so I will open this one. So what happened? It take my screenshot. It take my screenshot. And uh, if I want to edit, I will edit like this. Uh, I expected uh, more views, but it is very less like you know. So I can. I'm selecting this particular part and I can share it. OK, apply enter like this. This is the screen. If I want to draw like this, like uh, I want to draw like this. OK, you can do this one or I can highlight my name. OK, or maybe uh, I will show like a uh, number of views. Likes and dislikes. OK, like this. OK, I want to edit or uh, I want to remove something. Then I save it. I can able to save it or I can able to share it also. If you click on this one, it will ask. How do you want to share? You want to share with uh, names, okay, like email ID uh, or a email through Outlook or a notepad like that. How you want to share it? Now you are getting other things also, Twitter kind of stuff. Okay, so guys, that is. So this is another snape like from there so I can uh, take it from here. Only this I want it. OK, see. So only one video. I got like this. This particular video. Even I don't know why only this video having a, 
uh, higher number of views. <laughs> okay. Remaining are very less. Not even I didn't reach till now 200 views also. Okay. Yeah, dislikes are there, no problem. Comments, number of views, only one video. That too, that is the very smallest video in my thing. So only 10, 10 minutes 58 seconds. <laughs> okay, so like that. So that is the point of Windows Ink and Space, guys. Next one is Hyper V. Guys, Hyper V only available in Windows 8. 8.1 Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise editions. So, what is a Windows? What is Hyper V? Is a virtualization platform. We are using. Yes, we are using. We are using VMware workstation or a virtual box we are using a vmware workstation or a virtual box to create a virtual machines but that is a third party application you download a vmware or a virtual box vmware workstation or a virtual box okay you download it and you install it i'm using it you and using it right that is application but hyper v is not an application it's a future hyper v is not application it is a feature in your windows 10 pc it's not application it is a feature in your windows 10 pc okay but not works in a home edition i am a home edition candidate okay i am windows 10 home edition so obviously i don't have this feature but if you are having a pro and enterprise you will get a hyper v feature it is a virtualization platform okay so we can create and run virtual machines in your PC in your device in your machine okay so that is hyper V um, recovery options are there mainly reset option is there Okay, so yesterday, uh, not yesterday, last class, yesterday class, I think. Okay, yesterday class only. Yesterday I showed the settings, update, uh, update and security. Okay, settings, update and security, and we go to recovery. In there, we see when a reset option. Reset option will reset OS. Reset OS, it means reinstall OS. It is reinstall OS and remove applications. Remove applications. Okay. And you can choose to keep files or remove files. Okay. To, 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 to tell this thing, uh, I am having a fear. It means if I, even I do mistake or you do by mistake also. So guys, don't do it. Just look at here. <laughs> okay. So I don't trust you guys in practically, in practicals. <laughs> okay. Not knowledge based, not learning based. Okay. I'm telling in a, be careful when you're doing it. Okay. Don't do it. Okay. Recovery. This is the reset option. Read it. If your PC is not running well, resetting it might help. This let you to choose keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. OK. Yeah, we can use this one. Full snip in. So this is the window. OK, so you can save it or you can choose some part of it. OK, so uh, this is the reset in 
just an option. OK, so here you can find uh, that kind of stuff like you can write on it, right? Yes, you can write on it. Reset this option. You can see like this, OK? Don't click on anything, guys. Don't click on anything. You guys already know advanced startup and this is recovery option. OK. So other options also there, other options also there. So there are a lot of options also there. Uh, anything about a Windows 10? Anybody having any idea about a Windows 10? Yes, very important for that. Windows Store, guys. Windows Store is another important feature of Windows 10. Okay, Windows Store is another important feature of Windows 10. Means Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10 having Windows Store. Okay. So what is this Windows Store? This is the Windows Store. So you can see the bag. So click on this bag. Don't worry guys, I will give you a small break and I will tell one practical. Okay. That's it for a morning session. OK, so this is my Windows Store. Guys, you need a Microsoft account to log in. First of all, you need a Microsoft account to log in. So then only we can able to do anything. OK, so next one is don't do in your virtual machine. In physical machine, that is your wish. In virtual machine, don't do any login with the Microsoft accounts. OK, next this is will give you both the things like a you can put an application like a, it is kind of app store. It is like a, a Google apps or Google app stores. Is there no same thing? OK, so like a WhatsApp, Telegram, you can see Netflix, Instagram. Don't put Instagrams. OK. <laughs> Adobe Reader like this. You can see uh, you can install an application. Just simply select an application. OK, so make sure it is a free or a uh, paid one. So check it. Um, that one. OK, so check the description like, you know, so rating and everything is there now. Click on install to install it. Sometimes it won't show you install. It is just you have to click a get app. Get app option will be there. So they like that also you can add it. Spotify, these are the games. Some games are paid games. Some games are free games are there. See Candy Crush and all kind of stuff. OK, free games are there. Paid games are there. So if you have a Xbox, if you have a Xbox Xbox account using that account also, you can sync your Xbox to your Microsoft. Um, store and you can sync your uh, games also. Yes, tell me. Sir, why some of the applications are not uh, accessing Linux and Unix and uh, we will we can access in Windows? Linux and Linux and Unix. Uh, some of the applications uh, we can we cannot access in Linux and Unix, but we can access in Windows only. Why? Yeah, because like, sir, application architecture is different. Very good. Okay. See guys, um, that's a good question. It is so important is. So you want to run an application, the the platform. So what is the use of operating system? Operating system provide a platform to run application, right? Applish, op operating system provide a platform to run default platform is there like a win32 platform okay dot net dot net okay dot net frame 
framework. I think you know, guys, that is .NET framework. That is a, a platform to run application. OK, by default Microsoft, by default Microsoft Windows. You want to run a Java application, what you need? That's a question. I want to run a Java application. What I need in my PC, in my physical PC. What are it is, Windows or Linux? What I need? CSC IT guys are not there. Windows. I have a Java application. I want to run a Java based application. In my Windows or Linux or whatever it is operating system. We need something to run a Java application. What we need JVM sir. JDK. Yes, JDK or JRE. So important one is JRE. What is JRE? Java runtime environment. Java runtime environment. Okay. So without that one, you can't run the Java anyway. You have to install a Java means you are installing Java GRE or a JDK. So Java development kit contains JRE. JDK contains JRE or along JRE also you can install it. You can install JDK or JRE in Windows, Linux, Unix also. Meaning is you can run a Java application in Windows, Linux and Unix also, right? Understand guys, what we require to run a Java application is JRE, whether it is Windows or Linux. Important is JRE is required. Otherwise, you can't run first one, okay? So you want to run a application which is based on a .NET framework. OK. It is, which is a .NET framework based application. That application. You can run in only in Windows because .NET framework works in Windows only. You can download .NET framework from the Internet, but only it will install in Windows. So then you can run the particular application in Windows. So application runs in this environment so that runs in that windows only environment okay application runs in this environment can run in any os can run in any OS. that is one os architecture wise os application related architecture wise second one is yes very simple both are different type of operating system both are different type of shell environment is there so obviously linux based applications won't run in windows windows based applications not run in a linux okay not all every every application not some every application is like that only windows based applications directly cannot run in a linux linux based applications cannot run in a windows directly okay it is a Java application, so separate application. Okay. That is it. Yeah. Sir, is there any applications uh, commonly used in both Windows and Linux? No, no, there is no applications. The Java applications are different. I am saying different. Java application are a common platform application, means you have like a Python application. You implemented application in Python and you install Python environment in a Windows and Linux. That will run. That will run. Okay. Okay. Java based application. Jar file is there. Var file is there. That will run in both environment because of the supporting environment is JRE for Java runtime, Python for Python applications. Okay. Like that. Okay. Okay. What is this? Anybody try to find it? What is W? Yes, sir. Sorry. WSL. What is WSL? Okay, anybody will try. Universal Windows Platform. WSL. Sorry, 
universal windows platform what is the windows platform is is like a android studio no you know android studio android studio for developing android applications right like a um, app studio is there uh, for a apple uh, related the, uh, i forget that name so to develop apple applications to develop apple applications it is also to develop windows applications not win applications windows based applications windows desktop or mobile phone or tablet applications mobile applications so that is universal windows platform okay Windows default platforms are Win32 environment, .NET framework, APIs or works. If you want to run a Java application, we need a JRE. You need a Python application, you need a Python install. You want to do something in your Windows, like a Linux commands you want to run, you can run using this one. Linux based commands, interpretation is required. So this is a platform. Okay, so these are the some of the features of Windows 10. I took a lot of time to explain, but I think I showed uh, some of you some of the things directly how it is look like. Okay, so instead of names, I told how it is look like. So remember, guys, at least certain features compulsory. There's common features also there. Okay, so specific features, common features. Common features of Windows are a common features of Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, like that. So Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, tell me. After installing in the remote access in our uh, laptop, how could we uh, say to the client? Remote access. After installation, Windows and VMware, how could mm. we uh, share? After installation, Windows 10 in your virtual machine. I didn't cut the question. He's just asking after installing of Windows and uh, uh, like VMware, how could we save that, sir? Saving by saving. We are you are installing Windows in VMware, right? That's the first one. Right? Install mm -hmm. OS, right? Like this. Install OS. OK, you don't need to save anything. It is automatically saved. It is not a, okay. a, a just a file kind of stuff, but it is it is saved in a location. It will be there. The it is once you're done. Voice is installed. Installed uh, means it occupies space in your desktop. Only. So simply go to open VM directory. So this is your all are your virtual machine files only. These are all virtual machine files only. Okay. So this is your operating system stores here. Okay. Your virtual machine voice stores here. VM DK file. Yeah, tell me. OK, so now. Bit locker. BitLocker is there in Windows 8, Windows 10, like that. So compulsory. So BitLocker, drive encryption. 
the clocker is drive encryption this is another important feature common features not a specific use even the hyper v is there in windows 8 and windows 10 professional and enterprise editions okay uh, but this is bit locker drive encryption so don't forget about it is yes certain futures i want to tell that's it okay so don't put a uh, which where it is located app locker also introduced in windows 7 only app locker is introduced in a windows features only smart search smart search okay backup restoration features like a um, backup backup feature is uh, so one important feature is there okay storage space feature even though we see like that okay, okay. Um, file history parental control parental control okay what is parental control you know like it's a child like a child lock you know nowadays we are uh, online classes that's uh, okay to access now but in generally uh, uh, kids access once you given a computer so they keep uh, asking what are they want to access right uh, playing games opening applications uh, with irrespect of what time it is like a morning to evening or a uh, overnight they use it right so we can control it time we can give like a daily two hours okay uh, like a, a don't open this kind of applications and do not um, open these applications or games okay and tracking what websites is accessing tracking what kind of website is accessing or uh, controlling what website should not be open directly so like that it is we can able to control it so that is called a parental control is introduced in windows 7 file history is into introduced in windows 8 okay storage space is also introduced in windows 8 okay so backup and restore is there earlier but it is different in a windows 7 okay smart searching searching for a uh, files and uh, applications this is a smart searching Smart searching is much improved in a Windows 7 and Windows 8. App locker, bit locker, drive encryptions. Okay, so like this, these are the major uh, uh, parts of uh, thing. Network discovery. Network discovery features. Okay, um, home. Home group. Home group kind of stuff. Okay, home group kind of stuff. These are a, um, another feature which is installed in there. Okay, it's available in your system. Okay, so these are a certain common features. I'm not talking about every common feature it is. I'm talking in a certain common features of Windows. Sir, what is the, that uh, BitLocker drive encryption? BitLocker drive encryption. Anyway, we do practically. We'll see it. Guys, very simple to tell first of all. Certain features not available. These features mainly not available in home editions. Okay, home editions. So compulsory um, check it one. So the, yeah, very good question. That is, what is a BitLocker drive encryption, guys? This is my drives. These are my drives where I put a data inside. Okay. So problem is with the drive is I use it and i log out and someone for example my brother or a sister or my nephew came up and open the data and maybe modify the data and maybe he will keep the data so i want to secure my data from other users from network users also from network users and from the other users i want to secure my drive i want to secure my drive okay so what i will do I lock the drive okay to lock it i encrypt the drive and lock the drive with the password okay i just giving it statement guys practically we'll do it okay but i will tell now only bit locker drive encryption or bit locker only okay so actually that's the name 
will easy to understand what it is. What will happen? It is your device, not in a, uh, your drive. So then it is secured. Okay. And locked. With password. Locked with the password. Okay, so this is BitLocker drive encryption. Fusely is there in enterprises only because the the drives we use in an organization that is you have to secure your data. You have a company data is there. Not everybody should access. So what you will do? So we use a BitLocker drive encryption to encrypt it and lock with the password. So if you want to access the drive data, you need a password. Okay. To access. Drive data. You need a password. So if you give a password, then only you can able to access. Unlock. We need a password to unlock. To lock again. Start the PC. Start. Okay. So that is about a bit locker drive encryption, guys. Okay. So anyway, that is very good thing. Okay. Smart search, you know, app locker. So uh, control access of particular application by a user. A, a, this particular user can able to access the application or not. So that is we can able to uh, do with the app locker. So defender. Windows defender. And firewall. Defender firewall or firewall thing. Firewall is there in a Windows XP also, but Windows defender, Windows firewall is also there. Smart search. Backup and restore, guys. Go to the control panel. So, see, so look at. Uh, I will show you where it is. It's a backup and restore. Okay, backup and restore from Windows 7 onwards. Credential manager, credential manager, recovery option. It is um, storage space. You can see storage space, file history, file history. Okay. Work folder. Work folder is in Windows 8 and 10. Work folder. Okay. So these are the features of Windows 10. Guys, I told so many features, right? You feel there are a lot of features are there. I told some of the features on. Okay, I told some of the features only. I don't. I didn't tell you all the features. Okay, next. Uh, no, no, not required now. It's not direct feature. It is okay. So whatever it is, guys, I told some of the features. In, what are the important features which you understand, which you remember? That is a very important feature. Yeah, very good. Uh, Praveen asked one question that is, can we lock pen drives and SD cards? Okay. Can we lock pen drive, uh, pen drives or uh, SD cards like that? Okay. Uh, I am not sure about SD cards. Okay, maybe we can able to do it. So this feature we call it as a bit locker to go. Okay, bit locker to go feature to lock the removal drives like a external hard disk, pen drives, SD cards. We can able to 
encrypt it and lock the drive with a password. But it only works with that Butler machine only. So only it works with a, that Butler machine only. I think so. But with the BitLocker drive encryption. So you use a BitLocker drive encryption and you lock pen drive or SD cards. You have to use same physical machine, same machine where you done a bit locking, same machine only it will work. BitLocker to go, I not done any practically implementing on a pen drives. OK, so we didn't use this BitLocker to practically, but BitLocker to go feature actually for removal drives. OK, for removal drives. Good. OK, so that is about your feature guys. Uh, what are the important features of your Windows 10 is? All are important features. Very important features are which you remember and which you can able to explain. That is the first to go important features. First to go important features. I'm not saying that is important future. This is not important future. I'm telling all are important only, but you understand that is very important, which you can able to explain that future. That is very important. And you should tell in an interview, in interview, what are the features of Windows 10 or a Windows operating system? Tell those things first. That is a trick. OK, so. Find out what is this? That's it for uh, now. Take a break. And I will show you two practicals on uh, your Windows 10. Then we'll continue after. OK, guys. Okay, sir. Just comes. Okay, sir. Okay, stop recording. <laughs>